usually make my way down to Bubba's on this side. Um, I'm going to try and see if there's a alternate route since it's wide open right now. Great cave is basically on the other side of this hill down a ways and I just don't feel like dealing with that shit so. Look at the way this thing goes in a circle. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. It's huge. Uh, so yeah, I come from the other side and I never noticed this. I never really noticed what this creates in here. We usually tuck right under that thing and go up in that way. So I just figured we'd maybe come try the back door. But uh, this is pretty cool. Side door, I should say. Definitely heavily utilized. We usually walk right down there, come in over there, and we'll walk down to do 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 do. So we're just coming in this top side basically. This was one of the newer spots that they made last year. It's right in here. Well, it's a nice clean shot up to the up to the pines that were in the other day. Something really big moving over here, like really big. Um, not no, not a small animal for sure. It sounded like. It sounded like if I was just to just, I don't know, like if you were playing tag or something and like somebody like saw you hiding behind a tree and just took off running. It sounded like five like big steps as they ran away. It could be a deer, but it sounded more, it sounded more bipedal.
Here's our jar. Doesn't look like not much has changed. This has been intriguing me. Like, I don't know what this is, but there's, there seems to be something going on here quite often. Uh, I don't know what these... Bubs? I don't... That was a tree creaking if you heard something <laughs> as, as soon as I respond. I think he's right over there. There's a bit of Squirrels. There's a couple of squirrels just fighting, and like running up and down that tree. Somebody asked me how I keep the camera movement so smooth. So like if it does get herky-jerky like that, just go with it. Like if it jerks up, go go with it. Like almost like how you, you would catch an egg. Just go with it and gradually try to bring it back. Don't do so. And this was something that I had to, I mean, it took a lot, a lot of time. I know my, I'm not trying to say my camera work is perfect, but a couple of people have literally asked how I keep it so smooth. Um, and I didn't have an answer. I had to think about it. I just was thinking like, well, I guess it just got better over time because people used to complain about how bad it was. And I was just content and happy that, you know, there was some positive remarks on it. So, uh, but that's uh, about as good an answer as I can come up with. Uh, did we leave anything lately? Don't see anything in there. I don't know what that is. It's a purple wrapper of some sort. Uh, oh, granola bar maybe? Man, this thing... This thing's got a little bit of movement to it. can't really remember but yeah I think it's funny how that tree broke here and uh, you know obviously it should fall right here no but it's all the way over here doing this So, it may sound weird to you, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna include you in, right? So I sat with a slim gym, two slim gyms, okay. I, t I sat there with them. I I I literally have spoken, you know. I didn't speak out loud, but I said, you know, these are you know ones for me, ones for you. I put them together. Yeah, I touched them together so they were connected. I'm, I left him one, and I'm gonna eat the other, and. Uh, it, it's like sharing a meal. And I know to some people that just sounds stupid probably, but if you're not trying, you gotta think outside the box sometimes and try different things. You'd be surprised. You might be surprised, I should say. Some people are never impressed, but we got such a good group here. Like I really can't complain. You guys are the best. I get kind of 
perturbed at how vicious people can be. It, it hasn't been at me lately, but I mean, I, it still bothers me quite a bit. Just saw some vicious, vicious attacks, like. Look at that beautiful setup right there. For those of you who are putting out content or you're concerned about putting out content because of of those negative attacks and those, you know, people who are, you know, is going to say nasty things to you, just think about it. Seriously, just think about it. Like, if they want to call you or whatever because you believe in Sasquatch or you say you saw Sasquatch, Think about how poor their life is, that they had to take the time out to go and find you who said you saw one or believe in one and to talk shit to you about it. That's how much time they have on their hands. There's some daytime eyes shining in the back there. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it's beautiful. It's a rare, rare sighting. It's really rare to see daytime eyes shine. I don't know if I'm on it, guys. I really don't know if I'm on it. Oh, I hope I could show it to you. It's really cool looking. It's one of the coolest things you'll see. I mean, I'm talking full-blown night eyes shine in the, in the middle of the day. It is so cool. Right, let me see if I can line it up here. This tree is, let's try and find, <sighs> shit man, this is really hard to do. I think it might be gone. I just walked back, and I just hit a tree. I walked right into a tree because I'm just staring out there. Well, I, I really don't know how that's going to translate onto here, guys, but it was uh, a whitish yellow eye shine. At first, I just saw the one, and then uh, as I kind of, they were close together too, like, but at, at this distance, <laughs> it's hard to say, it's probably about 100 yards off into that brush, but I mean, it, something big is standing there because it's, it's up so high. Well, I mean, unless there's a... It's on a hill. But... Did you hear that? Could have been a cat, but I don't... It kind of sounded like a meow a little bit. Yeah, so I could have, I thought, it, I, I just saw one, so at first I thought it might be an orb, and then I also thought perhaps, okay, it could have, I gotta go in here a little bit just to check it out, and then I thought, alright, it could just be a reflection on something, you never know. Like, I mean, I stick marbles in trees, you, you just, you just never know. But when I saw the second one, It was clear to me. And blinking is uh, 
you know, once it blinked, I was kind of, I was positive. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I hope it caught, but possibilities probably very low. You know, it would have been up here. Those are the pines that we visited the other day. So it would have been up in this section. Which is a, some nice thicket, but. I'll just kind of show you what the area looks like and then I'm going to have to go backwards. You don't want a bad error. If I didn't see this, I wouldn't have been coming in this far, I'll tell you that much. So remember when I told you guys, it's like this, we're on the public land now. That was the federal land, and then you can see houses back that way. I don't know if you can see, but there are a couple of houses on the outskirts. And uh, it's just in that direction. There's just a few in that direction. And then all this is forest again. But what I was seeing would have came from up in here and somewhere right up in here. head back There's been these like little finch birds following me around. Like, yesterday was with Rob and they were following us around. Now they're doing it again today. Today they're sparrows, it looks like. Yesterday it was these little finch. And uh, man, those, those. I like sparrows too, but those those finch were, uh, were some kind of pretty colors. Look at this. Check this out. Not even often do we go down there. There's a whole lot of forest that goes down that way and a whole lot that goes down that way. And not often do we do it. Um, only main reason is this is the meetup spot, you know? I'd like to go check where the gift was, those rock stack gifts were. So that showing the other day was uh, was told to me later that was another uh, another uh, respectful gift back. See these little birds flying around me? For what we gifted them, that jar, for what we gifted. A lot of you asked about Bubba's son's name. I'm pretty sure I honed in on it. I just want to double check, triple check before I pass out information. That's just how I am. I want to make sure I received the right message the right way. No need to jump to conclusions.
I have a lot of conversations with a lot of you guys, and uh, you ask me to ask a lot of things, and I don't mind doing that, but it does, uh, it, it sometimes crisscrosses into, it, it gets confusing at times, and that's nobody's fault, that's just, I have to sift through it kind of, sometimes it's very clear and, and precise, and sometimes it's not. And when it's not, I just want to make sure I got the right message. Before I pass it along ah, to anybody else. This little area, so it's a holly bush it looks like. I like this. It's definitely got a bug of sun vibe to it. I like it. about where we were when I filmed that little short video of them. Well, it was at the end of the video, and it got cut off. I knew it was going to get cut off, so that's why I just... I stopped and just bang, I hit film again. But we're standing up in this area somewhere.
All right, folks. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously, thanks for being here. Thank you for being good people. Thank you for being kind to each other. I mean, it, it really makes a huge difference. And I, I gotta commend every last one of you on it.